the past years. There have been cases across the country of households catching fire due to poorly installed electricity by unskilled electricians. Residents across the country find this decision made by Rora effective in reducing the risks of houses burning down. Every house owner shall feel at ease knowing that electricity installations shall be done by those that are only certified and fully skilled. There will be no more cases of houses burning down. Rura's general manager in charge of energy, water and sanitation department, Mutkwade Alexis, says these measures existed since 2014, except that certified installations were only demanded by those constructing large buildings and contractors. This policy is aimed to reduce the high risks of more houses burning down caused by poorly installed electricity. We only certify those that are professionally skilled. We demand that each of them has fully studied electrical engineering, either short courses or a college degree, because we also provide certificates accordingly. On one hand, some engineers and electricians say that this policy will lead to an increase in costs for installation services, as explained by engineer Bimenyimana Innocent and an electrician, Sindaigaya Adrian. I think Rura will be the main beneficiary under this policy because they shall set a high price for these services, yet there were some graduates who were charging from 100,000 to 200,000 for installations as their means of survival. Rura should have thought of them because they will remain with no source of income. One can say that electrical outbursts across the country are 100% caused by installations that were done by uncertified electricians. It may have contributed to these cases, but again, they have to look at how this policy will affect the well-being of those that were doing these services as their only source of income, which is why there should be open facilitations for all of them to stand a chance of being certified and not just a certain category. Currently, out of 200 prospective candidates, only 89 have been certified. The registration fee is 25,000 Rwandan francs, of which after they have to do exams, which determine their level of knowledge in this profession. Rura says all those that have been certified shall be held accountable in case of any mistakes made during the installation process. This policy is not to distort anyone's well-being, but rather to protect the properties of many from burning down, caused by poorly installed electricity by unskilled electricians. This will help in ensuring that each electrician that has made errors shall be held accountable. Among those that have been certified, the first group of electricians will be installing electricity in households and other small buildings that use little electricity known as monofairs, while the second group of electricians will be installing electricity in commercial buildings and other big buildings that use a lot of electricity, also known as trifers. The third group will be installing electricity in industries which normally use a high amount of electricity that require transformers. Rora says the implementation of this policy shall begin in Kigali and then proceed to other provinces in order to assess its effectiveness. Jane Mutoni reporting for RTV.